But we begin first at four with an update to news we've been following since Thursday morning. 19 people charged after federal drug raids across the city. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nick McGill and I'm Aliyah Blackburn. We watched several of these raids in progress during Fox 59 morning news yesterday. We also spoke with neighbors and people who witnessed them happening. I get to the door and I got 20 guns on me and they slowly escort us. They have us separated on the curbs over here. Our Jenny Dreisler followed that story yesterday and joined a news conference today. And Jenny, we know they say this is one of the biggest drug ring takedowns ever in it, Indiana. It is. They called it significant, called it massive outside of anything Grundy. This is what they're saying, the biggest one since anything dealing with them. And by the way, authorities saying, again, massive drug trafficking ring. Officials still looking for three people. The 113 firearms with 60 machine gun conversion devices. Just the start of what officials say agents took yesterday. Law enforcement also sees more than 320,000 fentanyl pills, 100 pounds of meth, 450 pounds of marijuana, and half a million dollars in cash. Officials told us today 18 locations in central Indiana and Arizona were part of the raids yesterday. 19 people were charged as part of the ring, and if convicted, they each face up to life in prison. Now, according to court documents, this drug ring was led by DeAndre Perry of Greenwood and Jerron Bertram. Documents say the group trafficked meth and fentanyl from Arizona. Much of it sent through the U.S. mail to Indianapolis, Anderson, and the Muncie areas. Officials had strong words for three members of the ring who are still on the run tonight. Come, you know, fa face the charges against you, you know, put up any defense you might have, but come in safely. So I encourage you to turn yourself in, but know that we're not waiting for that and we're going to come find you. Those three wanted men include one of the accused drug trafficking leaders, 20 year old Jerron Bertram. Now police are still looking for 18 year old Joaquin Carranza and 22 year old Jordan Sumner. Officials consider them armed and dangerous. Investigators are offering a $15,000 reward for their capture or $5,000 a piece. If you know anything about them, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers or call 1-888-ATF-TIPS. Jenny Dreisler, Fox 59 News. Jenny, thank you.